In this video, I want to look at using the OptiRef toolpath with a mill level license. So there's a couple levels of licensing in Mastercam for mill. You have mill entry, which is kind of the unpopular choice that's only got a few options. You have full mill, which is kind of for two and a half axis work in general. And then you have mill 3D, uh, which gives you the full suite of the 3D toolpaths. Starting in 2022, the mill level licensing now has access to the full version of OptiRef. And this can be really useful depending on the kind of parts you're doing. Let's take a look at an example. So here I have a part with several 2D dynamic operations attached to it. It would take about five operations to cut all of these flats on here, assuming that the perimeter was to size and that the top was at zero already. So we have five ops. The first one for the lowest step here. This one would move up a step. The third one might come in and do this pocket so we can create some air regions for the next two. The fourth one for this area over here. And then the fifth one for these steps here. Programming these five toolpaths probably wouldn't take very long. You can generally create the first one and then copy paste, reselect geometry, and then switch this one from an outside approach to an inside approach. And you're gonna get a pretty fast result, but you could do it with even less work by using OptiRef. Notice down here, we have a single OptiRef toolpath and it's gonna do all the same work that, that the five dynamics took to do the same thing. So this is where OptiRef can really be a big advantage for mill users, especially once you get to a point where you're importing operations that are all dialed in, like we talked about in our high efficiency programming presentations, you can really take advantage of something like this and speed up your workflow significantly. If you want to learn more about the OptiRef toolpath and how to use it, check out our 3D mill roughing toolpaths lesson group.